Okay, well, another family in Pinellas County had their Christmas decorations swiped by a thief right out of their yard. A woman in Clearwater noticed two inflatables missing from her yard last weekend. That was the same night that a family in Safety Harbor had their decorations stolen. But get this, the Clearwater woman says she had to buy her stuff back. Fox 13's Crystal Clark talked to her today. So, Crystal, talk about adding insult to injury. You're exactly right, Chris. She says she originally paid $200 for one of the inflatables. Now she had to turn around and pay an extra $70 just to get it back because she couldn't prove it was hers. I love it. It's fresh. It's a new feeling. You feel happy. For Melissa Fernandez, Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. Her front yard on Bayshore Boulevard in Clearwater shines bright from November through January. But it dimmed a bit last Saturday when two of her decorations, a nine foot Olaf snowman and an inflatable rain dog, went missing. We pretty much chalked it up to being a loss, but then we saw another story about another family not too far from us that had lost theirs too. Fox 13 talked to Cindy Myers last week, whose decorations were stolen the same night as Fernandez, her home just two miles away in Safety Harbor. Pinellas County deputies arrested 30 year old Michael Fitzgerald after finding the Myers family's inflatables in his yard. Fernandez went searching for her own decor and found the rain dog for sale on the Offer Up app. The seller was with a Tampa consignment shop. He said that they bought it at a private estate sale. They've had it for months in storage. They just brought it out. I was like, okay, well, um, can we buy it? And they said, sure, um, we can give it to you for $70. She paid, even though the inflatable had the same strings from her home that she used to tie it down originally. Fernandez reached out to Cindy Myers and found that a stake matching the ones used to hold down decorations in her yard were accidentally returned to Myers' home by deputies in a box with her stolen inflatables. Clearwater police are investigating to see if the same culprit is behind both thefts. I really just don't know what's wrong with people right now. They're supposed to be in the holiday spirit, you know, spreading joy and cheer and just people are lying and stealing things. I guess it's just a little bit of reality. And unfortunately, sitting valuables outside does make you vulnerable to theft. But here's a helpful tip. If you have any Christmas decorations sitting out in your yard tonight, write your name on them. Police say it's the only way to prove they're yours if they go missing. Chris? A good point. Permanent marker. That's the best way to do it. All right. Thanks, Crystal.